a milestone moment in the U.S. Senate today, the 300th tie-breaking vote, and an even bigger moment in history for Vice President Kamala Harris, who's now broken 33 deadlocks, more than any other VP before her. Lisa Desjardins takes a look at Harris's role in a polarized Senate. On watch next to the Senate chamber sit the busts of Vice President's past, some famous, some infamous, many now forgotten. But none ever saw what just happened, a 191-year-old record broken. On this vote, the yeas are 50 and the nays are 50. Vice President Kamala Harris first tied and now clinched the record for most tie votes cast by any vice president. The record Vice President Harris sets today is significant, not just because of the number, but because of what she's made possible with tie-breaking votes. Her tie-breaking votes have included some especially weighty ones. The Senate being equally divided. The, the nearly $2 trillion American Rescue Plan with COVID stimulus. The vice president votes in the affirmative. Last year's Inflation Reduction Act with climate and health care provisions. And over a dozen. The vice president votes in the affirmative and the nomination is confirmed. Nominees from the Federal Reserve to federal courts. The vice, vice president, president votes in the affirmative. affirmative. It shows that there's a lot of power that Kamala Harris has in her role right now in deciding really the direction of the country. Kelly Carter Jackson is a historian and professor at Wellesley College. She points out that Harris is already historic, the first female vice president, the first Asian American, and the first African American. And she has now taken the record for the most ties from John C. Calhoun, perhaps the most influential white supremacist in U.S. history. He argued slavery was good for black people. Do you solemnly swear that you will support and defend the... It's unlikely he ever imagined someone like Harris in the Senate, the nays are 50. much less casting its deciding vote. Occupying those spaces of a black woman or woman of color, I think it is unprecedented. But I also think that what's interesting is that when you compare her leadership alongside someone like John C. Calhoun, you know, the two couldn't be further apart. And consider this. It took Calhoun nearly eight years to rack up 31 tie-breaking votes, but Harris beat that number in just over two. I think it just reflects the uh, political polarization that exists in the broader uh, society. Bill Bowling is a professor of policy and government at George Mason University. And... I have the distinction of having cast more tie-breaking votes than any lieutenant governor in the history of our state. In the 2000s, the Virginia Senate, like the U.S. Senate today, was narrowly split, and sometimes evenly so, as Lieutenant Governor Bowling cast dozens of tie-breaking votes. Well, it's a lot of responsibility. And burden. When the Senate is in town, Harris must be also. Her supporters say this is one reason her approval ratings aren't higher. She can't travel and build a profile as easily. So now they might need the VEEP? But... Also in these tie votes, whether state or national, are broader lessons. As a political scientist, I'm often reminding my students that we are living in one of the most political, politically polarized times uh, in American history. And that's going to increase the frequency with which these tie-breaking votes occur. And it's going to increase uh, both the responsibility, but also the power uh, and the influence that these presiding officers can, uh, can provide. Joe Biden never cast a single tie vote as vice president, but Harris told CBS her repeated job of it is a bonding point. In fact, the president and I joke, and when I leave one of our meetings to go break a tie, he says, well, that's going to be a winning vote. Whenever I vote, we win. It's a, it's a joke we have, but <laughs> the stakes are so high. High stakes in an institution where process is power and where no vice president has ever been as decisive of a vote as this one, with more tie breaks almost certainly ahead. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Lisa Desjardins.